Hello, good people, and welcome to another episode of Money Matters with Excel. Yeah, you learn how you can use Microsoft Excel to gain insights from your personal finances and also make decisions. If you're already in business, creating a business plan, or you are now starting a business, one important metric you need to pay attention to is break even. This is the point where you are generating enough revenue to cover your direct costs and your fixed cost. In this episode, we are going to learn how to calculate this in a dynamic way. Then we'll also create a chart based on this dynamic calculation. So you can use this template to make decisions on how to get your break even. So join me in Excel and let's go through this in a few minutes. So this is a fruit juice manufacturing company and we sell a gallon of our fruit juice for 140 CDs. Every month we produce 30 gallons. It costs us 80 CDs to produce a gallon. We pay fixed expenses and fixed expenses are those expenses that do not increase with the volumes that we produce. Okay, so example, rent, insurance. We cover 3,000 every month. Based on these assumptions, we want to do some quick calculations on the right. Our revenue is going to be the price times the volume that we sell every month, which is 4,200. It costs us 30 CDs to produce this. So we multiply this by the volume and then we get 2,400. After we take off our direct cost, we are left with 1,800. This is the SS profit we are contributing towards covering our fixed expenses and profit. We can calculate this, okay, as a percentage. So this is going to give us 43%. Now, are we making a profit or not? So to determine that, we we'll take our gross profit, okay, and then subtract our fixed expense. And we are left off with a loss position of 1,200. So it appears that for 30 gallons, we are not able to cover our fixed expense. And every month, we make a loss of 1,002. If this continues, our business is going to collapse. So we take a step back and then decide how much should we then strive to produce okay, every month in order to be able to cover our fixed costs and make a profit. To do this, we can use Excel's Go Seek. Okay? So if you want to use Go Seek, you can come to Data what if analysis go seek so go seek allows you to set a particular cell or result to a value so we know that the point where this is zero the profit is zero that is where we have generated enough to cover our fixed expenses so we are setting this to zero by changing the number of gallons we are supposed to produce okay so when i click ok this now runs to zero and it increases this to 50 gallons so that's how much we are supposed to produce now what if you want a dynamic way to calculate this so in order to quickly calculate our break even units we need to determine that our contribution per unit okay which is how much we make for producing each gallon okay is technically 60 cities okay so this 60 cities how many gallons should we produce in order to generate 3000 so we'll do a quick change of subject and that is going to be equal to 3000 divided by this 60. But we'll pick this in a very dynamic way. So my price minus this. Okay. So this is going to be 50. Now, if I plug this back in here, okay, you realize that I now have this driving my break even position. Because this is no more an input, I can change the color to black as we do in financial modeling. So based on your price and then based on your variable cost, this is a dynamic way to know how much you are supposed to produce in order to at least cover your fixed expenses and start making profit. Now let's visualize this. So in order to visualize this, we can start off with units, the number of units you are supposed to produce every month, calculate our revenue, okay, and then we are able to also put in our face cost and then from here we can get our total cost and then determine our profit okay so we start off with zero units and we are going to increase this by 10 so that is why I brought in the incremental value so we are going to create a table so zero as we increase by 10 
I'm going to lock this at the row level. Okay, and then I'll push this down and I'll create about seven rows or eight rows. Our revenue at every point in time is going to be the unit times the price. Okay, so again, I have to lock this as I'm going to copy this down. So I'll lock this at row level and then I'll copy this down. So this is the revenue for each unit that we are going to produce. And our fixed cost is not going to change. So I'm going to reference this and then lock it and copy this down. Our total cost is a combination of fixed costs. So I'm going to sum this fixed cost, okay, and our variable cost. So our variable cost is the number of units we produce every month times the variable cost per unit. Okay, again, I'm going to lock this at row level and then I'll close this. So this is going to be a total cost. I could have separated variable cost in another column, but because of the chart you are going to do, I chose to make it simple. So these will now give me my total cost. And then let's calculate our profit. So our profit is going to be revenue minus total cost. And I'll copy this down. So even at a glance, you realize that if we look here, 50 is where we start covering our first cost and we are able to make profit from this point onwards. And this represents our break even. Now let's attempt to chart this. So if you've already laid this out, to chart this is very simple. Let me just highlight this Alt HBA to put in some border line. You just need the first four columns, unit cost, revenue fixed and total cost. So I'm going to insert and then in my chart, I'll look out for the SY or bubble chart. So when this pops up, okay, I'm interested in the one with the smooth lines, okay. So I'll choose the one with the smooth lines and then I have this. Now let's make it clean so I can make the title break even units and then take off my grid lines. Okay, this is our revenue. So as a convention, we can make our revenue a solid line painted green. Okay, so and then this is our total cost, so we can make that one red as well. Okay, and then we'll leave our face cost. So the point where we generate enough revenue to cover our total cost, this is where we break even. So to make it more intuitive, we can actually plot that intersection here. Okay, so to do that, let's come back to where we calculated our break even units. We are going to add another data to this chart. So because this is an SY scatter chart, we need two points X, okay, for our break even units and then Y for the revenue this generates. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this format. So this will give us 50 times 140, which is how much we sell this. So we now have an X and a Y. So we can easily add this by going to chart design, select data. Okay. And then we'll add data. So our series name is going to be break even units. And then our X value is going to be 50. Okay. Just as we have it earlier. And then our Y is going to be the revenue that this generates. So I'm going to click OK. And this has been added to my original chart. But the question is now, where is it? Can I see it? If you want to select any element of your chart, you can come to the format menu. And in the left part, you see the options to select any element in your chart. So we are looking for the break even that we just plotted. So when I do that, it now highlights this. So while we are here, I can press Control 1. Okay, and then I have the option to format this break even points that I put here. I'll come here in my fill and line option, and then I'll choose marker. Well, this is a marker. And then in my marker options, instead of none, I'll choose built in. Okay, so to make it stand out a bit, I can increase this to about eight. Okay, if you like, you can change the marker type. Okay, and this is what we have. So now that we've done this, let's add a label, okay, to make it easier. So I'm going to 
create a dynamic label here so this dynamic label is going to be equal to 50 and I'm going to join this with units okay so I'm doing it this way so that if it changes the units is still going to come with it so I will now come and select this visible marker and then I'll add a data label so I'll go in here data label more options and I'll choose my value for this from a cell so I'm going to select this and then I'll click OK so this is my break even unit chart so if I want to play with any of these variables that is price and variable cost so example if my variable cost goes up to let's say 90 okay it means I need to produce 60 units to break even okay you can also play with price as well so if this goes to 160 then you know that you don't have to work that hard so you can set up the simple model to give you an idea on how much you should be producing in order to cover your fixed expenses it's a good decision too so the workbook will be shared on our youtube page you can visit and download and practice along thanks for watching for more of these short videos you can send ad to this whatsapp number we we'll add you to our broadcast list we send videos directly to your phones visit our youtube channel finest skills up all our old videos are here please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.